Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I went to the store. I had to get some half and half because I had one half gallon left and I don't like to run out. So I went to the store and got some half and half and I bought dog food and I went then I went to Tuscany's because I hadn't been there in a long time and I needed some Romano cheese. So I bought a five blocks of Romano cheese so I won't have to go back for a while. And um, <laughs> I buy a lot. I bought six half and halves. So I buy a lot. So I don't have to go back in a long time. And the date on that is really long. Um, let's see. I'm going to put a little clip in right now. I brought my notebook in again. Because mm -hmm. um, I do do better with it. And mm -hmm. Gloria is right. I do forget things. And this helps me stay on track. Um... I'm going to put a little clip in about dehydrating salami. So if you've ever wanted to make jerky, but don't dare like me, I don't dare do the raw meat. So I, I've been doing the, the salami and the kids love it. In fact, when they come over, they always ask if I've got any made because they want it. But anyways, that's going to, yeah, I'm going to put the clip in right here. I have talked about this but I've not really shown you how I've done it. I've only shown the finished product. But today I'm going to dehydrate. And remember, I always put my cords in a toilet paper roll to keep them nice. And this is what I'm going to dehydrate. I have never made jerky, but this is the closest thing to jerky that I have made, I guess. And it's just that um, salami that you buy. And it's in these little rounds. As you can see, they're little rounds. And I put them in the dehydrator, and the kids just go crazy over them. And we like them, too. And they're like eating a pepperoni. If you like pepperoni, you're going to really love these. If you thought you didn't like salami, well, you will now. So this is what I'm going to put in the dehydrator. I'll show you when I get it in the dehydrator. Okay, they're in the dehydrator, and I have, believe it or not, I count as I put things on. I have 24 pieces on each level and I have four levels. One actually has one more because I had a piece left over so one had, one tray has 25. But I do, I count as I go. I don't know if you count as you go but see how fatty they look when they're, when they're not um, dehydrated. Now they will dehydrate. I usually dehydrate them for about six hours and then I put them between paper towels and in a pen, I use a penny saver and paper towels to suck up the grease because there'll be a lot of grease. They'll be shiny when they come out. And this way they feel dry when you go to eat them. And then I put them in a candy dish. And instead of candy in the candy dish, we have salami rounds. And when my kids come, they always say, do you have any salami rounds? Because I dehydrate these quite frequently. So these are going to go in. And I'm going to set it, if you can see on my um, thing, it shows where um, meats and jerky go at the highest temperature, 55, 155 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 degrees Celsius. So I will set my dial to that and then I will put it on top and in six hours we'll have our little rounds of jerky that are they're chewy a little chewy and they're they're really good they taste like pepperoni I like pepperoni a whole lot better more than salami but this has been the best discovery I don't know if you like salami or not as salami but if you don't you'll love it as pepperoni well it's time to take it out so we're gonna take off the cover and as you can see, it is real shiny. I'm going to put it in this penny saver. What I do is I get paper towels. I use the penny saver as an extra absorbent. Oh, there's a coloring picture from Easter. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, well. It's not going to be colored. I lay the paper towels down in the newspaper or whatever type of paper you have. I'm going to take that one off only because it's long. Then I take these with my clean hands. 
because everybody always worries. Are her fingers clean? Oh, yes, they are. And then you just lay them on there because it's really great. Whoa, greasy. See the, see the shine? The grease that's on these? And that's what I'm going to absorb because when I put them in the candy dish, they're going to be dry and chew just like jerky. This is the best stuff ever. Your kids will eat this and you'll have to make more. Kyle devours them when he's here. I know, and so does Alex and the other kids and Paige. Brianna. I don't know if Abby eats them or not. I don't know. I know Kyle's the biggest eater. So if you want jerky, but you don't want to pay the, I think it's like four or five dollars for that tiny little bag. I haven't tried to do real jerky. I'm afraid to do it actually, to be honest, where you start with the, the raw meat. I think we could do it I easy enough. We could, but I've been afraid to even try, so I haven't. This was about as close as I've gotten to jerky. Oh, somebody's stomach is growling. It's not mine. Not mine. <laughs> I think it was yours. You think so? Yep. It hasn't growled in a long time. You know, I don't know if any of you have noticed your stomachs stop growling. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. See all the grease that's coming off of these? Then I pile some more on. They are so tasty. Yeah, there's 24 on each tray except for one tray has 25. I counted them as I was doing it. I always count things as I do it. I don't know why but I do. Jake you're walking around and everybody's going to hear your little mm -hmm. toes. And he didn't go in his house because I didn't get the big camera out. Oh he's dancing now. You know what that means? He means he wants to go potty. Well you're going to have to wait little boy. Itty bitty teeny piece, you know what's going to happen to that? I ate it. Uh oh. It's gone. There is Jake. You got to wait. Waiting here. patiently. Sort of. He was dancing. When he does that dancing feet, it means he wants to go out. Okay, and then I add another thing of paper towels on top. And then I close it up. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the dish. It's like, this is what I use as my candy dish, supposed to be. A, it's actually a casserole with a really nice cover. This was my mom's, and this is what I use. I'm going to show you the paper. The paper is very greasy. I have, I've taken it off the paper towels. And as you can see, the grease is all over the the newspaper and the paper towels and in here is the jerky and Jim tried it and it's delicious he says it's delicious so I would say I would suggest you try it it's it I'll show you the texture it's it's still got a little give like jerky would it's it's really good I'll I'll just eat it I also want to say thank you to those of you who let me know you're going on vacation. You know, I get comments from a lot of people, and when I don't hear from them, I begin to wonder if they're okay. And if they have a channel, I can check and make comments back to them there. But if they're someone that doesn't have a channel, it's a lot harder to find out what is going on. And so I really thank you so much for those of you that go away on vacation and you say I'll see you when I get back which is really really nice because I worry about different ones when I don't hear them I'll say to Jim gee I haven't heard from so-and-so in such in a while I hope they're okay and that then I um makes me feel better that's all I just wanted to say that okay so I don't worry let's see Robin uh, Robin from homes homesteading with Sadie she did a rug and she did a really good showing you how to do the putting it on the loom. She has a, a different type of loom, but it's still the same technique. I will put the link in so you can go to her channel. She did a beautiful rug. It's beautiful. She, she really did a nice job. 
on it. Um, and also, I had a really nice video that said thank you to me from Omad Caroline. That was so sweet of her. She had watched my video on change and it had inspired her at the it was at a time when she really needed I think the message about change and she described it even better than I described change I'm just in my mind I was thinking you know if it's if you want to make a change now would be the time and she's going to go to become a personal trainer which is wonderful because she's really into health health and fitness and so um, I will put her link in there also so you can find Omad Caroline and if you'd like to watch her and get inspired by her because she's very energetic and, a, and an inspiring kind of person. I guess that's it for today. You're yawning. I'm putting Jim to sleep. Oh no. I hope I didn't put you to sleep. So we'll, <laughs> we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.